After much curation, I have found the 24 best optional uniforms, in my opinion, right now in Marvel Future Fight. Just keep in mind, it's my opinion. You can do whatever you want. Optional uniforms are not as important as actual uniforms for actual good characters, but a lot of these do intersect with also being good characters. Also keep in mind that optional uniforms are going to shift as the meta shifts, because as new uniforms come out, they're going to have optionals and then whatever those are chosen as will dictate what ends up becoming a better optional so some of these have a lot of future value because they still have a lot of potential slots to be chosen for while others don't have as many slots available to them and so their ceiling for uh, greatness and value long term is not as high but kicking it off here we're just gonna start off with adam warlock who's available as the mythic option for hella new uniform and for silver surfer so big time pvp one um, as an optional but also just an amazing uniform as is next up we got a classic this is baron zemo now a couple of these at the beginning are not so good with heimdall and electro but then he hits four tier fours back to back to back to back with the mythic on storm and ant-man and then the rare on black bolt and the heroic on loki so you do get a lot of bang for your buck i know that ant-man and storm are not really in the meta anymore but it is still a lot of bang for your buck as far as an optional go and he does the little dance another classic coming back from black friday is blade he is now available for gene gray's advanced gamora's heroic and luna's advanced so you do have a seasonal in there which is a little cringe but being available for two big time metas especially for abx abl this is a must buy uniform if you're really trying to push that kind of content captain america's back to basics uniform still has a lot of room to grow but for now the options available are very very good you start off with legendary odin which is not the best option for odin but it's still good and then you hit rare silver surfer which is arguably the best because it gives you the flexibility of either attack or hp carnage another tier four with excellent optionals you got squirrel girl luna snow miles morales and captain marvel so you have two in meta tier fours at the end there and miles is no slouch himself plus it's the mythic option for luna which is the second best option and it's the rare option for cm which is the best option so very very nice extra value you get from carnage and obviously like adam and a couple of others we've mentioned he's not bad himself at all you know who is terrible crescent however she has really good optionals ignoring thanos subsidian king because it's been replaced now we have moon knight's best optional carnage's second best optional professor x is first and then cables fifth so really nice combination here moon knight and professor x are a little bit weak carnage is obviously you know pvp oriented but cable is super meta so this thing still has value the saddest boy to ever get a tier four cyclops his uniform is already cooking with optionals you start with green goblin and domino which is not that great but now they just hit him with gladiators rare and this is what i think is going to be the start of a lot of really good optionals for um, this cyclops uniform to be featured in because they're starting to cook in the tier fours they want to sell this uniform it's a bit of a throwback dr octopus's no way home uniform you have agent venom and arachnite who are not that amazing but then you finish it off with thanos and black panther not as much value as some of the other ones that we've covered but it is two tier fours both pv oriented one of them being seasonal um, so you do get value there and then there's still room to grow because again four you can see up to like eight or nine optionals on a single uniform once it's done being rotated in another member of the sinister six electro now the first three options not so great you got she hulk war tiger and rocket but then he's available for the fourth option of strife and the third option of silver surfer so that is pretty good he also has value in himself as a leadership for sinister six so he has a little bit of that going for him as well emma frost expensive uniform especially if you're going to max it out but as a seasonal she's going to tap into thor's mythic you got shuri you got the crappy miles morales so you basically want to ignore that one but then you have the best one for gamora a decent one for spider gwen and then nebula this one i think the value is almost capped because we were already at six so if you don't have and you're not trying to invest in thor gamora and gwen specifically i think this one is for sure a skip but keep in mind if you are trying to invest in those characters specifically for whatever reason then this is a great optional to look at to get maximum value out of those uniforms hyperion enter the phoenix this one is good because it turns him into a phoenix force user so you can use him on stage 34 of shadowland but obviously you want a lot more value than that it's a good leadership which we covered in the leadership ranking video i'll link to that in the, in the tag card there but then he also gives you maya lopez's old uh, optional as well as jane foster but then you got namor doctor strange and the new thanos wins so you got three good tier fours one meta tier four for pvp and you got groot nestled in there he's probably only due for one or two more optionals but i think there's enough value here to warrant a place on this list the key to unlocking doctor doom invisible woman got her second uniform a while back and this one has been featured more recently in in optional uniforms in a in a good way because we start off the list you can see wave mr sinister wong absorbing man pretty lame 
but they've wrapped up so far with Doctor Octopus and Doctor Strange, two doctors, which is pretty funny and a good, you know, great optional for Doctor Octopus there. So not like an insane amount of value here. I still think this one has a couple of optionals left, but it's something to consider. Back to the tier fours with Iron Man back to basics, just like Captain America. It hasn't been featured widely yet, but the optionals that are featured so far are very valuable. Now, I probably don't need to do a lot of convincing to tell you to get Iron Man's newest uniform if you want to play with him. Obviously, it's amazing, but Magneto's best optional, Enchantress, and then new Thanos wins. So very, very nice stuff here, and it's only going to gain more value in the future, uh, at least as I predict. The first member of the Eternals, but not the last to be featured here, is Kingo. We have not one, not two, not three, but four tier fours. You got Moon Knight, Hulk, Namor, and Ant-Man. A lot of focus on combat types, but you do get a lot of value overall here, especially with the second best optional for Namor. We wrap it with Groot, which is cringe, but because it's only five slots and it already features four tier fours, there is actually still room for this optional to get more value, plus the fact that it's um, already featuring four tier fours. Luke Cage Uptown Suit. Now, this one is nearing the end of cycle, I think. We got Rescue Cersei and Captain Britain, uh, Psylocke at the beginning, which is a bit bad. But then we wrap with three really good tier fours. You got Moon Knight's Heroic, Venom's Best, and Spider-Gwen's Best. So especially if you're into the Spider-Verse and the symbiote angle of things, this is certainly an optional to consider picking up. Speaking of Namor, his newest uniform has been featured now on Odin's Advanced, Phil Coulson's Seasonal Mythic, and then Mystique's Mythic. This is a small list, I know, and Namor has his own value as a standalone DPS. But it's pretty nice to see you get some additional value out of this uniform as an optional for other tier fours. Mr. Baldhead in the chair, a forgotten uniform and frankly, just a visual aesthetic uniform that didn't really do anything for the character damage wise or sort of upgrade any of his skills. This uniform has been featured for a lot of optionals. Now you have old Sharon Rogers, which obviously no one cares about anymore. You have the Mythic Psylocke, which is nice that it's Mythic, but that's kind of a dead uniform. Heroic Ancient One, Mythic Titania. We're getting a little bit closer to the meta now. Boom, Heroic Jean Grey. That might be enough in and of itself to sell this uniform, and then you wrap it off with Sabretooth. So it's a bit of a mixed bag here. I say, you know, especially if you're b building Jean Grey heavily, you do want to consider this one because the Heroic option for Jean Grey is like the second best option because you get the additional HP. Uh, for pvp or if you want to go you know more attack based then you probably value two and five more often more than than uh, two and three um so yeah i i wasn't going to put it on this list until i saw gene gray without gene gray i don't think he's worth mentioning so do keep that in mind but with gene gray you sort of always have to mention it because it's it's you know it's value there this uniform was a huge letdown but hopefully it will be featured as optionals for good uniforms to increase its value there you started off with two tier fours, which is great. Lots of room to grow because two out of potentially eight or nine. And then you have the second best optional for Wolverine and the best optional for Ebony Maw. I think this is really good. Again, not a ton of value right now, but definitely going to cook up in the future when more optionals, when this gets added as more optionals for other uniforms. Not Doctor Strange 2 Scarlet Witch, but WandaVision Scarlet Witch is featured for a lot of uniforms. You have Mythic Shang-Chi, Heroic Old Hela. Legendary Hawkeye, Absorbing Man, not going to blow anyone away. But then you have the second best option for Gene with the Mythic and the second best option for Doctor Strange with the Mythic. Very nice there. Two tier fours. I wish it was the newer Hela, not the Asgard Invasion Hela, but obviously that can't be the case. Um, yeah, this uniform probably isn't going to see too many more optionals. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, this is this is pretty nice value here. Shadow Shell, we featured her last time we talked about this. The Mythic for Odin is the second best optional. And now she's been added as the first optional for Angel's Seasonal. Again, seeing only two out of a potential eight or nine is cringe. But having them both be tier fours thus far is good value. Spider-Man No Way Home Integrated Suit or the Red Suit is now featured for two tier fours. We have Iron Man, which is a classic because of the relationship. But they recently added Ghost Rider to go along with Morgan Le Fay and Green Goblin. So I mentioned this one last time because of Green Goblin and Iron Man. But now you have even more value with Ghost Rider. So I think this one is a nice optional pickup and it still has room to grow with more optionals coming later. What's this? Another Spider-Man uniform? Yes, Spider-Man Back to Basics is an optional for both Heroic Sin, which is not so great because she's a support mostly, but also for Beta Ray Bill. I just want to mention this one in a cheeky way because it's funny to have two uniforms for the same character both be decent optionals but yeah they're both uh you know in a way meta characters so having spider-man as optionals for both is kind of funny the second eternal to also be featured on this list Thena, very very expensive character obviously that sucks but her uniform is featured for ghost rider robbie reyes and scream not so great green goblin starting to cook and then 
wrapping up with Adam Warlock and Black Panther. So pretty nice to see two tier fours there along with an ABX, you know, second place meta behind Mystique. And it still has room for some optionals later. And finally, we wrap it up with Wasp, who we started last year's video with. She's still only an optional for two uniforms, but they're both meta tier fours. You've got Ghost Rider's best optional, and you've got Gladiator's first optional. This has the makings of one of the truly best optional uniforms if they continue to add meta tier fours. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see, but there's a lot of room for growth here. And obviously, this is a good support uniform in and of itself. This, you know, on top of also being a good optional uniform. So hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this uh, curated list. Thanks so much for watching the video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.